Okay, in this presentation we are going to look at scikit-learn and uh, the data set we're going to be basing it, uh, this exercise on is called the Pima data set. Uh, it's actually, to, it's a well-known data set. It is the Pima di diabetes data set and it's essentially what we're trying to do with this data set is predict like the instance, uh, the occurrence of diabetes uh, amongst a group of women of the Pima community in Arizona, okay? So, it, essentially it's a b b based on their medical history, okay? So, tr tr trying to identify the risk factors. It's a very interesting data set, okay? So, it's the Pima diabetes data set, and Pima being, uh, I think it's in near Phoenix, Arizona, okay? So, first off, anyway, let's get down to the actual Python here. So, uh, I'm going to put in the old reliables, uh, NumPy and Pandas. Okay, Pandas. Okay. And what I'm also going to do here is actually I'm going to... Essentially, this is going to be a binary classification. So, logistic regression is the sort of the probably the most prominent uh, binary, uh, reg uh, logistic regre binary uh, classifier. Okay. So essentially, binary classification, we're trying to predict yes or no, one or zero, true or false. And logistic regression is probably the most well-known of those. But we'll also try out a couple of other ones here. Uh, class, the linear random forest classifier and this linear SVC. Okay, So they're from different subcomponents of the submodules of scikit-learn. Uh, logistic regression there is from linear model. Okay, uh, Random forest classifier is from ensemble. And linear SVC is from uh, SVM. Okay, so uh, there's there's another one there I was going to uh, use, but I decided to just drop it at the last minute. It's Gaussian NB. I'll come back to that another time. Okay, so uh, we import uh, each of these. Okay, uh, log we import logistic regression. We import these classifiers. Uh, or, uh, we import them, and essentially what we're do going to do is just sort of initialize them here. Okay, so there we go. Oh, why don't I run this actually first? Sort of get before it's there. We go. Now, uh, what I'm going to do now is read in the Pima dataset. Okay, and it's uh, hosted on GitHub there. Okay, so just to watch out, it's a raw URL, but you should be able to find this dataset uh, around the internet. It's quite well known. Okay, and so I'll just run that on Pima. Okay. Uh, let's just look at that. That's the first uh, five cases. Now, actually, what I might do here is just adjust it here to tail, just so you get a sense of how many uh, variables there are. Okay, so this actually will give us uh, a, 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 the sort of a, the, a, the medical, uh, a, a sort of good sense of this data set. Okay, it's all numeric variables in this particular instance. Okay. Uh, there's 768 cases, okay, and the the last variable there, diab1, is essentially related to do they have diabetes. It's a binary variable, the last one there, diab1, okay. And what we're trying to do here is like build a predictive model based on all of the other variables, preg, gluc, dias, trick, 2H, sir, BM1, Diab, age. Okay. Now, uh, you can read up on this and find out what they're about. Preg, preg is presumably something to do with pregnancy. Uh, gluc is maybe something to do with glucose, seen as about diabetes, age. Uh, they're essentially, some medical history, they're, they're related to medical history or uh, medical uh, details. Okay. So, that's grand. Okay. And let's just actually just check if any for any missing values are the the dot info uh, uh, on the data frame is well not uh, just actually it's just out of curiosity just to give you a bit of metadata about the uh, data frame okay so there we have there there's the shape as well it's actually just a sort of just a quick inspection of what it's about it's just a sort of good practice okay now this is the full data set okay and what I'm going to try and do is uh, build a predictive model. And essentially what I'm going to do here is uh, do a train test split. So I have 768 cases. 
Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to uh, from scikit-learn model underscore selection. I'm going to import this uh, thing called train test split. Essentially, what that does is it uh, splits up the data set into two parts: the training data set and the testing data set. Okay, and according to this split here, the testing data set is going to be um, twenty percent meaning uh, approximately 20% of the uh, the original data, okay? Uh, meaning that the training data set is about 80%, okay? So let's just run that. So it just splits up the data. Essentially what we do is we build our model on the training data set and then just see how good it is when we uh, apply it to the testing data set, okay? So it, essentially this sort of splits up the data for us, okay, automatically. Now Pima is there in the background, but essentially rather than having one data, uh, we have our ma uh, original data set, but now we have train and sh uh, test in uh, in the environment as well, as, as in it, we can work with these now, okay? So there we have train, it's, it's, it's in existence now. Uh, let's say, let's just actually just uh, print out the head. Just, uh, just get, get a look at it. Let's print out three cases there, just so, there we go. So randomly selects 80% uh, of the cases and puts them in random order also. And, well, so you could just tell by the, the sort of updated indices here, okay. Uh, 447 just got randomly selected to be the, be the, the, the first case of the training data set. It doesn't really matter what order they come in as long as they're assigned to training data sets or testing data sets. Okay. So there's 614 cases assigned to the training data set and you can sort of see here that 159 have been 154 have been allocated to the test data set. Okay. Two nice uh, sizable data sets, okay, to work with, okay? So what we're going to do here now is we're going to just try and pick, uh, split up uh, our data set into the features and the targets, okay? As in the predictor variables and the response variables are the dependent variables and the independent variables and so on. Essentially the X variables and the Y variables. I think is actually, there's a lot of these different types of terminology depending if you're going from computer science, statistics, machine learning, or other fields, uh, but just to suffice to say, what we have here are the x variables. Okay, now I'd, again, dot head five, just to actually sort of not print out the whole lot, uh, just to sort of just give it a sense of what we've done here. Okay, so uh, if I get rid of, like, if I was to sort of comment out the dot head, I get all 614 cases there. Okay. Uh, but what the important thing I've done here is uh, train. This is a dot i lock. Okay, that's all. Essentially, what I've done here is sort of subset of the bit. Now, there's a loads of different ways of doing this, but I just sort of uh, just picked out this way for this particular video. There's uh, in other videos I do things slightly differently, deliberately. I sort of deliberately makes a match. So all uh, rows. So just the bit I have that colon there. Hang on. That just tells us all rows, and this is the first eight columns, okay, uh, as in column zero to column seven, okay, or the first eight columns, essentially, okay. So that's just a range of columns that we can work with, okay. And uh, so essentially those are going to be my features, okay, my X variables, okay. And I'm going to pick out my Y variable. Essentially, I'm just going to pick out pick it out by name. In this case, it's diab.1. So features, train features, train target. There we go. So it is, yeah, just I have it sort of picked out there now. Okay, so that's a, a series there. Okay. Let's actually just test, t uh, see what that type is. That's actually sort of an important matter. Because... It sort of, yeah, that's a series because it's sort of these, when you're putting in the target, uh, uh, specifying it in your, uh, when you're fitting your model, 
it it sort of works and it, it assumes that it is a, a series or a numpy array okay not a data frame okay it's quite it's quite easy to actually accidentally subset it as a data frame okay i'll just I'll actually i'll just show you what i mean there because uh, it's sort of quite people will sort of see this particularly if you're new to python just and you might sort of see this type of thing knocking around just that's not going to change but you sort of see what's happened here that that went from 64 comma blank to 64 comma 1 essentially what happened there is that became a data frame because of the way i created it okay there we go see that's a data frame that's sort of gonna that could cause a little error okay well it, it has caused me errors in the past that's why i'm just sort of very wary of it okay now it's a series grand uh, again actually just actually sort of a good this is actually good practice in general is the type command just every so often just check what you're doing okay so the type command is just to sort of so you don't you know it could save you a little bit of, quite a bit of hassle there just to sort of every so often just sort of see type is it is it is it what you expect okay now so i'm going to sort of move on from that i think i'm actually a couple of these next bullet points are sort of uh covering over that material but i i sort of made, uh, said everything i need to say so i'm just going to move down a bit uh okay so we're going to fit our logistic regression model lr so we we imported it as uh, previously we sort of like uh, uh, import uh, 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 let's actually sorry where does this lr come from okay lr what what's what, did we did something about that didn't we okay that's what we did we just create when we created those classifiers lr svm rfc okay essentially we just gave them shortened names and where relevant we gave them additional uh, parameter values okay so for the linear svc we specified c equals 1.0 uh, just for the purpose of this video this is more so aimed at beginners i'm not really good i you know it's a sort of as this is a very advanced stuff what does that c actually mean okay and i'll be honest with you i don't really know how to explain it or uh, in this sort of format okay i have a fair idea of it but i don't really know how to explain it in a way that i can convey it through youtube or something like this Okay, uh, so that's where so LR is not is just uh, being not coming out of the blue. It's it was, it was something we created there previously. Okay, so we're going to fit the model LR dot fit. Okay, so we need our features, we need our x variables, and we need our y variables. Okay, x and y. So let's just fit the model. There it's done. Oops, I went back way too far there. Just, let's just go back there again. Now, sorry, just to get lost here very quickly. Sorry there. Now we're back on track. Okay. So we fit the model, lr.fit, and like we just sort of, uh, our x variables there, uh, feet under, or train underscore feet and train underscore target, features and target, x and y. Okay. So that fits our model. That gives us all the specifications uh, for fitting this logistic regression model. And as you can see here, that there's actually quite a lot of them, okay? And essentially that requires a lot of reading and a lot of practice. And to be honest with you, this is the type of thing that sort of, the, to the nuances of all these sort of like take a while to get the hang of, okay? So this is, if you're doing this professionally, it's worth spending time learning all, all about those, okay? But anyway, so essentially LOR.score. So we fitted our model, okay, in 51 there. And essentially what we want to do here is test how good it is. So LOR.score is just essentially a score of how good it is, okay? So LOR.score, train, uh, 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 feature train, and uh, train feature, train target. Let's have a look at that. Grand. Now, what I'm going to do here is actually let's put it back up there I am going to try it out with the test data and see how 
good it fares in this particular instance. I can't do that actually because I forgot to split it up. I'll tell you what, I'll have to just come back to that later on when I uh, have the... No, I'll do it now. I'm going to just pause the video for a second. Uh, just because it's a sort of rehash of what I've done. So it's not going to waste any more time. Do you know what? I'll even save it for the next video. Okay.